psychological problem, they should be addressed with psychological treatment. Especially when we're talking about 12, 13, 14 year old kids who really can't even decide whether or not they want to be goth or raver or skater or an astronaut. So what does this have to do with The Simpsons? I never brought up The Simpsons. This is a song that doesn't end. It just goes on Thank you for your conversation. Bye. <laughs> Do you want to have a conversation? Do you want to explain why you're blocking people? Do you want to explain why you're looking at me with that look? Just give a little bit of Okay. We don't want to touch you. Sorry. You don't want to explain why you're blocking people? No, it's not. It's really not obvious. I mean, no one is born in the wrong body. That seems like a good statement to me. Stop, stop mutilating and sterilizing children also sounds like a so good why idea. Why did you choose now to start talking? Why did you uh, I actually started talking about... I mean, like, right now. you And I, like, I also had a YouTube channel destroyed. And all of a sudden you're just, like, talking about all this random stuff. Why that doesn't make any sense. sense. I don't know. I don't know. I understand We're your question. We're pulling fire trucks. I mean, like... Yeah, and two weeks up. ago you attacked Fred Sargent on the street. This is for children. Was, it, was Fred Sargent attacked on the street for children? About who they are. Oh, so Not children have to have their boobs and their Not penis cut off inside. in order to Not be who they are? Is that what you're suggesting? Because that sounds kind of crazy to me. very close-minded. Yeah, I'm very close-minded. I don't think we should be cutting parts off of children. I don't think we should be taking away their right to unhealthy sexual life as an adult. Why, you don't like fire trucks? You're some sort of... No, I don't like sterilizing like kids. I don't see why that's the hard thing to get. Like, giving kids puberty blockers so they can never have an orgasm, they can never have children. Why do you want kids to have orgasms? As adults, sweetie. As adults. Who's sweetie? Well, that was my euphemistic, I don't know your name. Do you want to tell me your name? Uh, Marvin. 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 I'm Brentley. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. And now we properly introduced Marvin. You want to tell me why cutting parts of a kid is a good idea? Um, because, <laughs> um, you know, it's just like... What's that? Oh yeah, oh I forgot. This is they got this cool flag and everything. And it's like it's like like blue and pink and white. Isn't that like really sick? But why is it blue and pink and white? And why is it different from the gay flag? Well this I this thought the rainbow was supposed to be inclusive of everyone. Well this one represents Crystal Meth. This one represents Jesse Pinkman. This one represents Walter White. Um and yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> I'm not interested in having a conversation that's in that vein. Do you want to tell me why you're blocking people today? I'm just supporting youth. You're supporting youth? But these people think they're supporting youth too. Great. You well, know, you support your way to support parts. I mean, I don't understand why cutting parts off of kids is supporting youth. <laughs> I think the real reason they want to cover up the signs is because they don't want to have to explain to the children what they are. That's right. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a documentary? I can cut your penis off, but I don't want to talk about people who don't like it. Mm -mm. Say, what else is a good one? Yeah, I couldn't find anybody who would explain to me why cutting the breasts off of a healthy child is a good idea. Yeah, I, 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 I just asked two people uh, who asked me, why do you care, why do you care, why do you care? And my answer is very simple, because I care about oh, child yeah, abuse. Just as a normal person, most people disapprove of child abuse. As a victim of child abuse myself, it's a particular topic of concern to my heart. And people are actually asking, why do you care? that young girls are losing their breasts. Why do you care that minors are being sterilized and losing the ability to have children before they're the age where they're old enough to legally buy alcohol, to legally drive, to legally get their ears pierced? This is not a genuine question. This is what people have when they are in a cult line of thinking, when they're not allowed 
to allow disagreement. But that's what they're that's what they're doing, folks. Why do you care? Why do you care about children having their genitals cut off? Trans it's a question that answers right. itself. So trans question. Trans Why do you right. care about children? Like, I don't. I, I, well, I mean, it's a question that tells on the questioner more than, than the question you're asking. Right. It's also trans odd that they, they think they're right. here trans to right. right. support the kids, right. Right. but the actions they're actually leading to right. are causing right. physical right. harm and sterilization. And there's going to be. You guys are like in the middle of the lawsuit. Like, what did the children want? What's that Do you about? understand how grooming works? <laughs> I mean, adult pedophiles can groom a child into thinking that they want to have sex with the adult. Are you also abused like him? Not like him. Not anywhere near like him. Okay. There's so obviously this sort of behavior where you're lashing out, com you know, comes from trauma. This isn't lashing so, out. I, what you're listening to, folks, is called gaslighting. This is um, this is lying. This is what narcissistic people do. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, anyway. Yes. Well, anyway, we'll just keep on flying our flags while children have their boobs cut off and. All the you know, forty thousand people on Reddit slash D trans are just going to continue. They're not going to be out here partying when the lawsuits come down the pike in Hedgerow. And they will. What's our, uh, how many we got right now? Watching. Uh, I'm not sure. I can't see. Can I check? Can I see? No, you can't see. Oh, oh can't we see. folks, we got a popularity contest. In order for us to be valid, we have to have a certain number of viewers. He's just curious. Uh, we'll check back in with Sweetie later. <laughs> How long until? I was born this way. Right, exactly. Except that that was true, they wouldn't need hormones and surgery. I know. That's funny then. Why, why weren't you born with your own exogenous testosterone? Hmm. It may be because you're a biological female. Oh my god, don't trigger me. Oh no, trigger! Oh my god, Becky, those guys over there are totally talking about us at the other lunch table. Look at this person defining woman by like the actual scientific biological definition. So rude. I know. Why do you hate so much? Why do you hate trans people? I know. Why don't you just like respect him? Why do you hate trans youth? That's my question. Uh, Why do you want to have a young person have their body be cut up? Um, I don't know, I just, I grew up with a lot, watching a lot of slasher movies, so like, you know, that's kind of, it's fun. I mean, okay, for serial killers. Yeah. I mean, you reveal yourself with every comment, and you have no self-awareness. Yeah, I mean, life. I'm a serial killer, I've killed like, what, like five or six people. Like, you are great in the new Dahmer on Netflix, honey. Exa yeah. Hot, girl. So amazing. You're actually giving me really good content, so I do appreciate the chats. I mean, it makes your side look bad. But that's okay. Well, I mean, like, um, uh, Better Call Saul on Netflix. That's a good. That's good content. Yeah, it's great content. I'm a big it's fan. You start, to, you start talking about Netflix, and then you lose my interest. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Sorry. I go back to the mutilating children signs, which I know you don't want. I mean, like, it's your website. You can put on whatever you want. Oh yeah, but the point is to come out here and do it in real life. Love it. <laughs> the antics, folks. The antics. Oh, sweetie, you don't have the stamina for this. <laughs> you must be hot and all that's cool. I know, it does look a little warm, doesn't it? I'm getting warm. My fly keeps falling down because these pants. <laughs> so I gotta wear two pants. And that was working pretty good because I was standing up. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's too late, sweetie. I got the shot. Get it. Oh, it's so good. All the signs, all the flags. I love it. Fred, you want to wave? Fred! Fred! Wave to the camera. <laughs> 
Everybody, Fred will be on the show Sunday night. I'm going to have an interview with him. Right. I don't even know what that one. What's that flag? Non-binary flag. It's a sick flag. I mean, I don't really think non-binary is a thing. Well, I mean, we all have our opinions. This is a free country. Well, non-binary and binary is just another binary. No, that's Whoa. so true. No. Oh that's my god. Whoa. It's like, oh my god. So it's like there's no such thing as binary. Oh, you, you oh, said drop. Right. Yes, money for cutting the boobs off of 12 year old girls. Fuck you. Yes. Oh my god. Yes. We gotta find girl boxes. Oh, and let's give Life. testosterone to little girls because that's a good idea too. Jesus Christ, you're a fucking moron, really. <laughs> Puberty blockers, very effective at causing brain swelling and bone sure, damage. Buddy. Sure, Read a book, sweetie. It's on there. Right. Which book? Right, Are we polar Google star? it. Google puberty blockers brain swelling. Hell my oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Totally fucking reputable. I'm sure you got a phone. Just Google it. Just fucking Google it. It's not like no, Google, Google it and look for a scientific a study. Do you imagine? I don't think so. It's a blood pressure match. Could you fucking imagine being that much more change me off it? But <laughs> <laughs> no, the, I, I don't know if it's Luke. Uh, it might be Luke. Luke. Yeah, uh, Luke. Maybe you didn't get the moment that no one does. Zip. Blank slate. But I'm not telling you what to do. Okay? No problem. It's all right. okay. It makes better content though. Yeah, there's people okay. at home It's I'll all about up. the content. I'll shut up. Baby. I'll shut up. Oh, well, you get the I'm considerate of other people who the want to be here but can't. Oh, and so I come to be in lieu of them and so I can bring it to them. <laughs> well, well, I, mean, a, I wouldn't recommend it. It's pretty boring. Do you really to... Sorry. Hold that. Hold the end. I'm going to do a little circle. Yes! 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 <laughs> Woo! Up and run! Yeah! Woo! Good content. Yeah, I'll so Yeah. Something you should be careful of, right? The next time you hit me with your flag, you're yeah. Please back up. Something you can do is if you want some, if you want hold it horizontally, get someone else on the other side. We just don't want. That's good. We don't want these fuckers to get on Fox News. We don't want Tucker Carlson. Yeah, we don't want children to see this. We might have to answer some difficult questions. I don't want Patriot Front marching through the streets of Burlington. Okay, buddy. Here we are. Totally undemocratic. Fred, I'm a big fan. Really? Yeah. Fan? <laughs> do, do you know what? Um, he know what did. He did? he did like um. He, he like, like he like called the cops at Stonewall or something. He was I, a trophy husband for his fucking. He was a trophy husband for his boyfriend. Actual wrong. fucking organizer. Yeah. Wrong. You're you're fucking wrong. Let me give you some advice. From Twenty years ago. Well, what's up? Don't get involved in the politics of Stonewall. Oh, you I know. that the hard way. I know. You let people tell their stories and you step aside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, 
Claim they're we'll, at Stonewall. We'll, we'll concede that. Yeah, we know you win this one. That's a lot of gigabytes. <laughs> wow. It's a good fucking tripod as well. Yeah, thank you. It actually is. It's really good. It's it brand new. Fun. What is it? It's a DJI? Oh, nice. Yep. DJ Osmo 6. Sick. Good for you. Thank you. Jesus Christ, gives me a fascist face. I bought it just to come here today. Oh, good for you, buddy. I'm getting, getting along with this footage. Yeah, two, two, two and a half, no. uh, two and a half gigabytes no. of footage. Two, gigabytes. two gigs, two hours. Damn, wow. Oh, you're planning to be here for two hours. Okay. No, I mean, it's, it's been two and a half. Okay. It's been two hours and 17 minutes so far. We don't really have a plan to exit. Do you want me to go get your bottle of water? Good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, shit, the whole thing died. Bye, me. This guy, I actually agree with this guy. Well, that's an accurate sign for him. I feel like he, he's, he's been the most nuanced. I mean, it, it really, it describes your entire group here very well. As a representative of your group, he's actually perfect. It happens. Pants. Can I get a selfie? Can I get a selfie, man? Sure. Yeah. You got fucking, I got, I got fascist stuff. I need a cigarette. What's up? You look good. I think he's an ad cap, isn't he? Who is he? Who? This, this guy's a fucking right? big difference. Yeah, fucking monarchy. Cap capitalist, right? Who, me? You? Uh, no, I'm not really affiliated. I'm a, I'm a mostly moderate. I registered for a Republican the first time in my life. Oh, good. New York City. Yeah. Don't fucking wait, you're a New York City Republican? Yeah, yeah, I just moved back there. there. Oh my god. Uh, Imagine being a New York City Democrat. <laughs> There's a lot of us. Uh -huh, so I mean, many. Stay, yeah. It's even weird saying us and thinking that I'm a Republican now, but... <laughs> it is what it is. I know, it's yeah, like a unicorn. All these crazy transgenders, they, they like, they like, went into the bathrooms or something. <laughs> if you say so. I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody's got to keep it. I'm sorry, what's your name? Sawyer. Sawyer, would you be willing to move slightly? Of course. Is that a safe chair? I don't know what needs covering, but it's actually good. It's like a direct window catch it. He's come back for a event. Yeah, he's got the fucking... Why would he come back for a event? I mean, like, you know. No, no. What, for red for what? Uh, I mean, you don't know? His sign got taken. He, his sign got taken? Yeah. He was he was assaulted? Yeah, sure, that's what we'll call it, buddy. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, when six people assault a 74-year-old man. Face. It's, it's in my face. It's not in your face. Who's getting your camera away? It's, it's in my face. Are you, what? Are, you, are you afraid of being filmed? Please do not film me. Are you afraid? Please do not film me. Please do not block me. This is the, the quality of your communication is just so Whoa. Damn, I'm fucking old. I got fucking old. Yeah, he's got you there. I'm wow. seeing a good picture. I you guys have a theme song? No. no. Not Slim Shady or I mean, I'm not sure who you mean by you guys. It's a good one. Classic. Like that? It's a good one. Slim Shady, but we can stay on the... You're not an organization. You're just a loose collective. Are you uh, homosexual? I identify as queer. Hey, are you oh, homosexual? So you're straight, basically. Are you homosexual? Hey, I'm from New are you, York. Are you a bisexual? Hey. Hey. Okay. Let's do it. Do you want me to go to your hair? Right here is fine. Okay. Mama, mama hey folks, quick update. So we're sitting here, we're sitting here with Frank Sargent, the commander of the Gang Liberation March, 1970, the original, who was assaulted.
hosted by the loving LGBT community last week at Burlington Pride. This is the man who began Pride. We are standing here as homosexuals and heterosexuals. We are surrounded by people who are calling us bigots, hateful, asking us why we care about the issue, telling us we're child abusers. And again, we are not trying to prevent them from having their message. We're not walking in front of them. We're not jumping. We're not harassing them. They're harassing us. They don't like free speech, and they don't care that one of the original men who made this possible, who actually fought for gay liberation, is standing here. So, again, Burlington, Vermont, live coverage from the protest from the LGBT Alliance against outright Vermont. Don't belong here. You are big. And I don't advocate for assault. Assault is bad. Nobody should assault anybody. Okay, and it's wrong what happened to you. Many of the people in here. Um, are telling other people either through their jewelry or their signs that they're here about love, inclusiveness, and toleration. You can see the lie very clearly by their behavior. Notice that. That's the difference between honest people and dishonest people. Actions don't match the words. A lot of mismatch happening up in here. A lot of mismatch. I hope everybody out there is doing fabulous. Thank you. You can move, sweetie. You can move. Move. I don't care. You are in public. You are in public. You can leave at any time. You sound like you want to be filmed, frankly. Funny. This is what we're dealing with, folks. Can't have an opinion. Can't want to stop the mutilation of children. Can I get you anything for No, that's not film me. Sweetie, you can move at any time. I'm gonna film whatever I want to film. You can hide your face, you can put your hand up. I don't give a flying fuck. Uh-oh. Sorry, Daniel. He's probably calling to be like, what happened to the stream? I know, right? You got let off? And you're like, oh, definitely call me during that. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, I don't know if Kevin ever got it to DR. I don't got know. into what? Ever got it on the DR. Oh, I don't know. If he was just back and forth with everything. Um, I might need a... Kevin! Yeah, Daniel doesn't know what's going on. He's not, he hasn't made the jump to checking the other channels. Can you text Daniel uh, and let him know that the, you couldn't get the DR? He doesn't know what's going on. He's still looking at the, the original feed. Can you text Daniel and let him know to check out the disaffected feed instead of the uh, dangerous rhetoric feed? I can't. If I try to text him back, it'll cut the feed off. Don't ask Kevin to do these things. I'll, I'll do it. Okay. You, never mind. Do you need his number? Hang on. Stand by. Or you could probably even just send him a message on Facebook or something too. Discord. It's like 908-441-6625. Whoa. Oops, I just put that out of the live stream. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Don't worry, I'm sorry. <laughs> he says it's off, but it's it's skipping. I don't know. We'll see. Woo I'm gonna have to plug in soon. Um, I'm gonna um, go back to base for a minute.
Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, grab the uh, battery. My battery. I don't grab what? It's a portable battery. It's uh, is it that orange and black one. Yeah. Okay. It should be on the floor, plugged in. All right. He doesn't have his phone. <laughs> okay. It's what happened. If people want to know, let them know. I'm going back to base for a minute. Okay. He's uh, coming back in. I can give it to you, but it's probably going to be all garbled. What's up, Chris? You want to talk to the stream? How's it going? Fine day. How are you Man, feeling? I'm feeling fine. Confident. How are you feeling all these, all these flags? They're nice. There's, uh, they're kind of screening and shading me from the sun, which is wonderful. It is uh, It'd be a little bit nicer if they weren't swinging them around and hitting me in the face with them. But that would be nice. That would be It'd nice. It'd also be really nice if somebody... Yeah. <laughs> seem to be some hygiene issues in the crowd. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, it's a, it's a, it's a you know, it's a, it's a what happens. It's October, it's hot. This is so funny. It's amazing. I know. Oh, gap in the field! Gap in the field! You're so much taller than I am. I'm like, that would scare me. You want a cigarette bill? No, no. Hey. Church Street can't smoke. Really? It's what for us to get to get to walk. All the time. I was gonna say, would anybody complain if I smoke weed? No. Yeah, this, you know, go to, go to City Hall Park. They're dealing, you know, fentanyl and right out in the open. So they're, they're, they're doing fentanyl, they're doing drugs out in the open, but you can't have a cigarette right here on the street. Why? Does this seem weird? It does seem weird. It seems a little weird to me. <laughs> I mean, every, they say in New York you can't smoke cigarettes in Central Park, but I do it anyway. Seriously? And nobody complains. Are you leaving the city? Yeah. Oh, where? Like oh, wait. oh, okay. 40 East Side. West, uh, west Side. Dude, that's, see, that's how long I've been away. <laughs> I moved out in 82 or 3. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. Different times. Yeah, different way times. on the west side. Tenth, like, yeah. Sorry. You know, that was exactly, stupid. This is exactly what they did when they assaulted me. Yeah. They surrounded me with flags so that people could yeah. see yeah. what they had done. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hiding your crime. Yeah, that's why it's good to be streaming. We've yep. got everything documented. Even if they smash my phone to a million pieces, it's recorded online. There's no way they can get rid of the footage, so... That's why it's good to document everything, and also for the people that wanted to be here, that couldn't. There were a lot of people that were friends that wanted to be here, but, you know, like prior obligations, life, but Concerned it's good. about getting retribution. Concerned about being doxxed, you know, that kind of stuff. 
Oh, I think they're getting tired. Those flags are drooping, guys. They're drooping. Somebody might see his sign. I drew two sometimes. <laughs> Oops. Did that get caught on a hot mic? It, it might have. It might have. So do you rent it to your own? I, 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 I rent. <laughs> but it's complicated. Do you have a view of the river? Uh, from the roof I do. Yeah, if we go up on the roof you can see the, uh, the Hudson. It's a lot of fun. I, I, you know, I, every time I go back to visit, I'm like, this is not the city I remember from the 70s. No, definitely not. Uh, I'll say, like, we're already all holding our arms up, might as well do it together. It's a yeah. shame what's happened to all the gay bookstores. Definitely a very different city. The hips just kill well, anything they touch. The all the <laughs> like it's Brooklyn. Funny. How did they ruin Brooklyn? They, Brooklyn was like, oh, you know, run by the tough Italians, and now they're like, what the fuck is this shit? They complain about gentrification, and they're the ones doing it. It's the same. We see it again and again and again. So the people complaining are the ones causing the problems. Often. Hi. There we go. Okay. Some news. The sun is like coming right in my face. They're in Chicago. I've thought about it. My mother is going to be in college. Say again. <laughs> oh, hello. Tommy, your research stream. We started. <laughs> Queer and here. Yeah. It's fascinating. Why not? I mean, it's fine. So that's what it looks like right before they strike. Uh, I can never get the hang of that thing. Huh? It's just a freaking barrier. Oh, you just go to the, the low part. Oh, you're so right. Way easy. This weather's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's really great weather. Let's talk about the weather. It turned out amazing. <laughs> So look at all that color. Oh yeah, all that color. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
This thing is cool. Yeah, it is so cool. Wait, how do I? Uh, I didn't hit you with my hand. <laughs> We got two classes. Remember, we got two classes. Of we got the for Justin. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh wow. Now it's wild. That's wild. It's confusing. Where did you get that? Uh, B and H. So, wow, so, I've never seen one like that. It just came out. This thing comes off too, which is cool. It's a little yeah. tripod. What? It's a tripod on a selfie stick and it punches. That's wild. Yeah, it's like meant for this kind of stuff and also like vlogging. So you can like take it, you know, to the park and just pop it down and talk into it. Wow. <laughs> Must be expensive. Yeah, it's like 150 bucks. But it's brand new, so yeah. they have older models that are that are cheaper. This one, I just, uh, I don't know. I saw they were coming out with it, and I was like, I want to get it. It's cool. And it's way easier than holding your phone like this yeah, that would be a nightmare. for hours. I did it. I've done it. Yeah. It's, that's why I was like, nope, no more selfie stick. I don't care if it looks stupid. This is way easier on your arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Blondie. Ooh, that's cute. Ooh. Are you guys going to go watch Fred give a speech? Uh, is he going to give a speech? Mm -hmm. He's got a prepared statement. Uh, shortly? I don't know. I think they'll probably go that way or that way. I'm not sure where they're going to do it. The idea was to be like it was to be like a silent protest, which is why most of them aren't speaking. But and then I'm he's gonna give a speech after. Yeah, I'm just documenting and live streaming and having fun. So I don't. I'm mean, a silent protest. I'm like, come on. I got a big mouth. <laughs> Me too. I got a big fucking mouth. Do you guys want a car for the podcast? Sure. Car for the podcast. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I got fancy cards. My sister designed them. Thanks. Dangerous. Me and my boyfriend. Damn. It's a lot of fun. We have conversations and stuff. And then I just started branching out into coming to like live events. Are you Brentley or are you Dan? I'm Brentley. Dan's at home with the puppy. What kind of puppy? Uh, like a little mix. Chihuahua rescue something. Yeah. They said Chihuahua mix when I got him and he definitely is not. <laughs> All right. Are they moving? What are we doing here? Oh, looks like it's moving. give you guys an idea. This is the Sorry, truck pool. I've been 
and the and the Mexican I love that. I I don't know. I don't. I don't know what. Uh, this, could be, this could be the problem. Too. Well, it's coming. We got the. Uh, I got a battery coming. Okay. I just have to plug it in. That's all. Three hours. I could do almost three hours of live stream before I need a juicer. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I've interviewed her a couple of times. She's half-hearted. Uh, she is half-hearted. She's very facetious. Very. Uh, Snarky. Snarky. She doesn't want to be found out who she is. Likes to start talking about Netflix very quickly. Yeah, she, she doesn't want anybody to know who she is. She's, she's pulling an Antifa. Like yes. But I mean, it's like, kind of obvious. Thank you. <laughs> I'll share one with Charles. You got this. You're doing great. Oh, oh I need the cord too. There wasn't a red cord in place. Shy. Uh, describe the cord to me specifically. It's bright red and about three feet long. <laughs> you want us to hold on to that? I can actually, if you want to stand here, I'll go get it. If you want to hold here. Uh, brightly, brightly. Tell me how to reverse the camera if I want it. There's a button it's hard to see, but it's right there. Hi folks, update here from Josh uh, with Disaffected. Um, I'm not sure how much time, more time we have left in this, but we are still sitting here with Fred Sargent. Um, there are some speeches being made. We are still surrounded by people who don't want uh, others to see our message, us members of the uh, actual homosexual community. So um, thanks for joining us on live stream. Really appreciate it. This is important stuff that's happening here today. <laughs> And that's all that you're doing today. That's also what you're doing when you donate. So if you feel any of these things, like there's too much you can't do in that club, but you don't feel a lot of power, you can right now make this contribution to the top right of your mind and join the $160,000 
Kevin, if you were giving orders to Josh, I could not understand what you said. Folks on the live stream, if you just saw that gentleman with a gray um, military flat top and purple shirt uh, look like a late middle-aged gay man, um, when we were holding our signs a few minutes ago, he came up to me, leaned over into my ear and said, how does it feel to be a hateful piece of shit? That's the love in the uh, community. Yeah. I know, I was in. Yeah. And you always know if there's someone above, and if there's someone above them, you can do that way. Yeah, what the fuck, I don't know, I can't say that. Oh, I'm being deeper. I am. Yeah. 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 Yeah, see, they even want to block our cameras, too. Sure do. Yep, they just confirmed. This is who they are. No, 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 no. So she said, buddy, you know, oh, right. And there's a kid's kid. And that's, that's the concern. It's about them being my tie-down. And not having... Yeah. 
reproductive health, so on. I want to say something else on the street. I want to say something as someone who used to be a young gay person. I was talking with someone a uh, few, yeah, you few won't minutes break ago. My soul. Um, who you won't break trying. my soul. Do you see what's you happening? You won't break my soul. You see how they Beyonce, are. Beyonce, we love Beyonce. Yeah, trans black lives matter. This you is what a lack of socialization and a lack of proper parenting you won't does. Break my soul. Sorry, my singing. I remember great. when I was it's a gay kid in the eighties, and even though. Even though I was targeted and beaten up, and even though it wasn't as acceptable to be gay then as it is today, I felt yeah, safer. I youth. felt safer as a gay kid Woo! in the 80s because at least I knew yeah, yeah, that the yeah. people in my community were actually you on my side like and I was on theirs. Soul. Nobody was trying to permanently we harm me. And, and it's made me very sad today as a 48 year old gay Woo! man I'm a to see that fear and hatred and the mockery we from the young people here. We are trying to help. We're trying to make sure that this doesn't happen to any you more kids and that soul. homosexual kids or kids who are gender non-conforming, kids who are going to grow up to we be straight, kids who are going to grow up to be bi, yeah. we love bisexual, our gay, you. all of them were born woo, woo, in the right woo, body. Woo. Nobody was Get born on the in the left wrong side body. Of the body baby. And I know you that in 10 years, 15 soul. years, or 20 years, you some of these poor, damaged young people are going to realize that we tried to help them. And I hope and I'm telling I hope this is planted a seed for at least one person in this crowd that there's a different way to do this. Homophobe. And that's like the big point. If just one person Yeah, gets the message, just me, baby. Person hears it, yeah. It's worth I mean, it. You, yes. you can see, you know, they're it's not going to really, listen. They, so you know, and you don't expect oh, it at a, at, so, at a protest. So but oh, oh, this, so is, so this is a cult. You Folks who are watching this live soul. stream, this is what I mean you when I say cluster B, narcissism, borderline personality disorder, emotional instability and cult dynamics that get vulnerable people. This is an illustration of it. You this is what's going on in American blue cities. You and unfortunately, it's infiltrating churches. It's infiltrating conservative places as well. This should not be a partisan issue. This is not about left or right. This is not about goddamn Democrat or Republican. This is about child abuse right now. Wake up. Do what you can in your own community. I beg you, please. Thank you. So, as you can see, folks, it's been a lovely day out here. Wonderful, yeah, 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 wonderful yeah, opinions. Yeah, yeah. I got a little pixie yeah, behind me. Where are you? Woo, 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 pixie. Where are you? Where are you? We love our dogs. Yeah, I'll bet you love them. They love the, que so the, que much. the question is, what do you love them exactly for? What do you love the queer youth for? What is it? Tell me how. Tell me what love is. Tell, tell me what it means to love them. Don't hurt me no more. Yeah. <laughs> Which you know is ironic because they weren't even alive when that song was born. <laughs> oh, the arrogance of ignorant youth. Oh, kids today. Yeah. I guess I guess they're running out of stamina. I don't get I guess, I guess they're done. It's just so funny. I totally don't get it. Like, why do people hate so much? I just don't get it. <laughs> it's so hateful. It's so... <laughs> Josh is right here. It looks like we... This one is so frustrated. Here she comes. And, uh, here she comes again. Yes, we love non-binary youth because without them, we have no purpose. Yeah, exactly. Without them, we have no targets. Yeah. How else? You're targeting us. You are indeed. How else? That's ironic. It's all about surface with them. Right. We're cuter. We're younger. We're hotter. We're more with us. Oh my god, we totally are. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Aren't we just the best? <laughs> We're just so awesome. Because look how much we yeah, support you. I know. You. It's like, just We're such a fan. I know. 
how can you not support Chad? How can you be such a big Yeah, and like, exactly. And when there's like all this dancing and all this inclusive love. So much inclusivity. Like, what is so wrong much with dancing? people? Why are you such a homophobe, transphobe, bigoted racist? I know. What are you even doing as a homosexual? Why, Why are you even, even a gay man? man? Are you even a gay man, Are you friend? even a gay man? No, I'm non-binary. Oh, I'm queer okay. now. Are you sure? Okay, because I don't feel like you're part of the community. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're so full of fucking bullshit. And you notice how it shuts them right off? Yeah. Like immediately. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That is the case. Josh here. Yes, it's quieting down. Yes, people are dispersing. Oh. Is it okay if I hold it on this side? Um, do you want, is he going to do it right here, I think? Okay. Let's not make him stand. If he doesn't want yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Toots, my goats! Yeah. It, whatever. I, do, yeah, you don't have to put the camera on. You don't I have like to. It. I, like you gotta, I just, I want to point out again for people who are joining the live stream, we are here with Fred Sargent, who was one of the originals of the 1969 Stonewall riots in New York City, one of the actual homosexuals there, who fought for the rights that these people have today. He's been sitting very dignified and quietly. He was assaulted and robbed on the street by this alleged community last week. And in a few minutes, we're going to have a statement from Fred. He began the Christopher Street Liberation Day March in 1970 and laid the groundwork with his colleagues and friends for the rights that these people enjoy to do what they're doing today. And we're going to hear from him. It's pretty quiet in here. It's supposed to be silent. Telepathic speech. It hasn't been silent. Everybody's been talking. Well... What kind of what is that? What is that name? What kind of like? What is it? What kind of like? Oh my God! Is there marijuana in the vape? My God! I don't even remember the brand. I'm sorry. What kind of? You got the fucking Star Wars ass vape. Star Wars vape. I got the fucking Star Trek ass vape. Fucking looks like it was built in a garage or something. He likes our banter. I have spare parts. Okay. Oh, that's rich. They're talking about us being made out of spare parts. <laughs> because I had my penis constructed. I got mine out of the odd bins pieces part. Where'd you get your penis? I got mine from my arm. Because that's loving. My thigh penis is so much better than yeah. my arm penis. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine? Unbelievable. I, we're making, we're, we're laughing and we're cutting up because it's ridiculous. Because if you don't, you're going to lose your mind. I mean, this is insanity. What we're dealing with. This is literal. You got to approach lunacy. with a little levity. What? Oh, oh, oh yeah. one second. Stand by. Ever since Malcolm Nance and that "Stand by" in Ukraine clip, and now every time I yeah. hear "Stand by," it's like "Stand by." Stand by. Yeah. Agree. God damn, I love America. <laughs> God damn, I love America! Give it up for America! Yeah. Yeah. Especially the queer youth, America! Turn the camera back around. Let's, let's turn the camera around and focus on Fred. Yeah. Burp. Okay. So, you got that? All right. I'll leave this for me. Kevin, we're all going in the back door now, and then the feet are on the floor. We're going in the back door. I believe he's asking, are we doing this speech here, or are we doing what, what this I want to make sure that we have a full count of everybody that we came here with. Everyone seems to be accounted for. Does anybody know where Tommy is? <laughs> Do you want me to keep streaming? That's going to be more difficult. Where Tommy is. He was okay. here. We're going in the back door. Let's start going. 
I think it's fine. Tommy's been more incognito anyway. He hasn't really been like. We all set? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me. I'm, oh, there he is. Okay. Liza, you want me to carry this for you? Right. <laughs> See, we're just normal people having normal people things. Yes. Um, just you know, security shit. Uh, yeah, I was gonna take, take up the rear. I was gonna put. I, it I know. I don't mean take it up. Yes, I got you. No, I'm gonna aim it at the ground when we get close to the. Okay, but I think you know just to record anybody who follows us because they're gonna. Oh word! I will. I mean, wouldn't you? <laughs> Not really. If you were insane, and I mean, if I was a sadistic psychopath. <laughs> But I'm generally very happy-go-lucky, and I don't give a fuck what people do. <laughs> Funny. Huh? We're on our okay. Okay, we're on our way. We found the hold there. Would you look at that? I got it. I got it. Just make sure you're right back. Okay. 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 We're just going to the parking lot. Okay. Okay. You got you got the car to extract in there. That's my we have a yeah we'll be fine. We're just streaming for security purposes now, guys, just to make sure that until everybody is safe, we're gonna keep streaming. There's a lock. Whew. Just for security because we do have some agitators behind me. Just over my shoulder, hanging out. This is nice, I can see behind myself. Well, that was a good event, I think. You know, I'm glad it didn't, uh, nothing, nothing bad happened. It was a little raucous, it was, you know, but... It's just about exactly what I expected. Oh, word. Yeah, I didn't know what to expect because after, you know, Fred got attacked, I was just like... No, I, I knew that they, they were on orders to, you know... That be on their best behavior? Because, I mean, internationally, it fucking got noticed. Yeah, it's true. What's this guy following us for? <laughs> what, do you know what yeah. <laughs> I'm getting him on tape. We got one guy behind me with a mask on. He's not with us. He's definitely following. We're almost there. Fred's slow. We're moving slow.
us on several alternative social media platforms. Find us on Getter at Disaffected Pod. Follow us on Truth Social at Disaffected. You can also find us on Parlor at Disaffected Pod access to our backstage discord server join multiple topic based chat rooms and 24 7 open voice chat and even virtual events on a main stage for hosted conversations and backstage podcast recording sessions it's not twitter and you don't have to pretend bruce jenner's vagina is real sign up today
Hi everybody, Josh Slocum with Disaffected. It was a technical experience today. First time we were doing this. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're sorry about the tech problems, uh, but I think we got you some footage from downtown Burlington. I want to thank everybody who is watching this, but I especially want to thank the people who put this together. Um, this was the brainchild Christopher Aaron Felt, Christopher Aaron Felker, a very brave man, my friend, a uh, gay Republican here in Burlington who was absolutely hated and was followed around dogged and um, actually threatened. There's a blind lottery, there, and someone is picked out of the hat to be stoned. And then the entire town, the people that you do business with, that you buy your meat from, the people that you send your kids to school with, they all stand there. They all get a pile of stones, and they all start throwing them. That's what it felt like to watch people. from the ages of what appeared to be maybe 19 years old um, up through uh, their early 30s, mocking the older people, mocking Fred, mocking our friend Liza, uh, mocking me. Um, doesn't hurt, you know, doesn't hurt our feelings. We're way past that stuff. But there's something that is very, very sinister about young people who are motivated to hate their elders this much. We're not just talking about being neutral, we're talking about I can't wait until you die, basically. You know, I had a couple of conversations with children. Children! I'm sorry, 18-year-olds are children. These young girls pretty young girls, clearly having a good time. I remember when I was this age, I remember when I was the one who was out dancing and as you know, it's, it's as Fred has said, Pride started out as a liberation march, not as a parade, not as a celebration of identity, but in The era I grew up in, we all waved our flags and did all stuff. But you you know, they, they came over with that snotty and susian, you know. Like why do you care so much? It's like, hot. she comes up to me. 